Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com with a quick look at the new Evasion jailbreak tool. Now what you may or may not know that Evade has decided to surprise everyone, including um, the uh, Jay Freeman who actually invented Cydia and came up with Cydia. He didn't even know it was coming. So uh, Evade has launched a jailbreak last night, surprising absolutely everybody. It's fairly simple to install, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. Uh, I would warn you though, like I said, because uh, Jay Freeman or Saurik uh, didn't know it was coming, the version of Cydia that's on there isn't officially tested uh, to work with this jailbreak tool yet, so some things might work, some things might not. So do proceed with caution or at least wait until there's an update out and then try it later. Uh, but this is Evasion 7. I've downloaded it onto my Mac. If you're a Windows user, sadly, I cannot give you a tutorial because I don't have a Windows machine. But anyway, um, you quickly load up uh, Evasion 7. You'll get this normal warning from Apple telling you it's not to be trusted or if you want to trust it. And then it will just go through it like so. Now you've got this pop-up window, asks you if you want to jailbreak. Now obviously before you do this, you do need to make sure you back up your device, but it is compatible with any uh, iOS 7 device. So uh, this is my new iPad mini, it'll work with the new iPad Air, the iPhone 5S, 5C. It'll work with anything that's running iOS 7 to 7.0.4, and there's even been confirmations that it's working on the beta versions of 7.1. Uh, but that's not official, so don't go and try that yet. Uh, but this is how you jailbreak. It's very simple. Once you've backed up your device uh, and you're quite content that you're not going to lose anything important because you've got a backup available, um, just hit the jailbreak tool and wait for it to do its thing. As you'll see, you'll watch the blue progress bar progress along. And from what I've read, it takes about five minutes or so. So now what it's doing, it's rebooting the device, it's installed all the packages that it needs to. So it's just a case of waiting for the iPad or your iOS device to do its thing. It's a very simple tool. When you compare it to like the original Red Snow tools and various other programs that came out in, in the first few years of iOS, um, the, the most recent ones have been very, very simple and it's why so many people are doing it. Even people that aren't wouldn't consider themselves to be tech people. Um, people are doing this um, and it's become a lot less risky and obviously it's not illegal anymore so it's it's quite good that way um, it's a continue please unlock your device and tap the new evasion 7 icon so it will install an evasion 7 app on your device which you can see it's put on my second screen there if I tap on that it'll do there we go, and it reboots again, and hopefully this time, when it actually starts up the second time, it will be jailbroken, Cydia will be installed, or at least that's my hope. This is obviously the first time I've done this, but again, it's very, very simple. And it's relatively easy to get rid of the jailbreak if you don't want it afterwards, you can just plug it into iTunes, restore your device from scratch, and then install your backup afterwards. So it says it's now done. The progress bar here is completely finished so I can exit the tool on my Mac and I just need to wait for my iPad to load up and once it does, like I said, it should be all ready to go, jailbroken and ready to use. Now personally, I don't think I'm actually gonna be using this new jailbreak because everything that I actually wanted, oh, you can see there, by the way, there's the Evaders logo, which will start up the first time that you reboot your device after jailbreaking. But like I was saying, there's nothing really that wasn't fixed by iOS 7 for me. A lot of the multitasking and control center stuff, it's there. There's a lot of really great apps. Uh, Flashlight obviously is one of them. Um, the new multitasking is much nicer. Pretty much everything that I wanted from a jailbreak, apart from themes obviously, is has been fixed with iOS 7 so I'm not that bothered by it this time around but if you want to be obviously that's your choice and this is how you do it now I open this up second screen now we have Cydia and you can see it's preparing the file system it's ready to go and that is iOS 7 jailbroken and that's on the new iPad mini with retina display so it does work on the newest devices I will see you again soon, but if you want to ask me any questions over the next few days, uh, because it's Christmas, I may not respond that often, but I will respond as soon as I have time. 
please feel free to leave any questions or comments below and I will see you again soon.